Dazaviri. That's right. It's episode 90. 90. In the house. Nine zero. The big nine zero. <laughs> Do you remember when air horns were a thing? Dazaviri. Hey, man. We're two weeks in a row. We got a streak. We're yeah, streaking we're, here. We're streaking. <laughs> the what? Hey. We're not going to be allowed happy, to hear your games anymore. Ha- happy Aglet Awareness Day. What? <laughs> happy Aglet Awareness Day. You know what it is? Is it for Aggies? Is no. It Aglet. Is Do you know what an Aglet is? No, I have no idea what an Aglet is. Apparently, I need to know what awareness is. I'll give, I'll give a few listeners. This is why there's an awareness day. I'll give a few listeners a chance to Wikipedia this real quick. Real quick. Aglet. Aglet. A-G-L-E-T. It is what goes at the end of your shoelace. It's the little plastic thing. And we have a day dedicated to that? <laughs> Not really. Who passes but these things? The kids and I, you know, we're, we're on Disney Plus, right? Yeah. And... uh my kids are getting to the age where the humor of Phineas and Ferb, and they have a whole episode about the aglet. <laughs> it's hilarious, man. It's hilarious. Phineas Ferb, have you, did you watch it ever? I never did. Yeah, you, but I, I I missed that. It was like right yeah, at that weird too. time where me I was too. like I was not watching kid shows. Yeah, it might be the best Disney show on Disney Plus. I I've heard that from many people. Now John David's going to say it's Avatar Airbender. Well, which he also says that it confirms tang- that he also thinks it's tangled over frozen. So. Well, you know, we can an, take his opinion. With an honorary song. dad who's not a dad yet. Tim has agreed with John that Avatar Airbender is like one of the best shows ever. Wow. I know. But Phineas and Ferb, it's hilarious, man. And I can't wait for your son and you to sit down and watch, start, start watching, watching it. it. Yeah. He's oh, he's there. He's, he's there. there. He would enjoy it. All right. And it's a hilarious it's a hilarious thing. Yeah, I've heard really good things about it. I just haven't watched it. Yeah. and um, But Aglet, <laughs> they had a whole episode. I can't believe they did this. And it was the entertaining of the Aglet the and Aglet. awareness of a Aglet. I didn't know there was a name for that thing. But it's actually today is a really special day for all of us. It is opening day in baseball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, for actually, all of us, yeah. It's, it's the seventh. This is Thursday night. Tomorrow is opening day for the Rockies. They play at 2 10. At home or at home, oh, and really? they have a yeah. If you, since since opening day got delayed a week, yeah, the MLBs, I don't know, I don't know how they got a home game, but they never get a home weekend. No, no usually oh, they try yeah. to push it out until because a week and April a half. in Colorado could be cold and snowy. Yeah, which reminds me, it has not snowed in April yet. Yet, yet. It's Easter Sunday coming. <laughs> yet. <laughs> you remember that Easter it snowed? Yes, Saturday. It's like I mean. Yeah. I, I was talking to somebody at work the other day, and he was complaining about the snow. Yeah. And I said, we're not through it yet. Not yet. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, sometimes we get it Mother's Day. Yeah, totally. Or later. We do get it later yeah. sometimes. But it is opening day, my friends. The Rockies have a winning record right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mark it down. Mark it we'll down. We'll take it. Yeah. But, you know, that's a really good season. And there's such young young guns in baseball now. Yeah. It's becoming fun again. Is it? Yeah. We're kind of coming into a new era. We are coming into a new era. Kind of coming yeah. out of the last. Yeah. 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 So it, sh- it should be a good year. Yeah. For baseball. I know. You know, if you're going to rank sports in America, what are the top three? NASCAR <laughs> is number one. Because if he ain't first, you're last. <laughs> no, actually, I think it is, though. Technically. Technically, because it has the most viewers. It has the most viewers. But. I would say football is probably number yeah, one. It's number one. Baseball's number two. Ooh, I don't know. Or is it basketball? Yeah, that'd be that'd be interesting, right? And then third is baseball. Probably it's like. Two but then three. hockey's in there somewhere, maybe. Yeah. I Where does know. PGA golf rank? Pretty low. You think so? I think so. You know they per per um what am I say professional sport? Yeah, that's where I'm going here. <laughs> they give more money away than any other sports combined every year. Really, even yeah. more than like fighting? Yeah, totally. But some of those purses are pretty big on fi- no, fighting. No, no money like charity money. Oh, charity money. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. thinking like prize. Sorry, money. sorry. Yeah, oh, okay. nonprofit money. How oh. crazy is that? It has a lot of money in it, though. It's a money sport. I also feel like it's a dying sport. 
A little bit, yeah. I read some article a while back, yeah. and I, I can't cite it, but yeah. just that it was golf is decreasing slowly. Yeah, totally. And most of the mom and pop golf courses have gone away. Yeah. But yeah. But it's opening day and it's opening weekend, which is a lot of fun. Even speaking of opening weekend, we had a great opening weekend. Yes, we did. We're, co- we're you're coaching. We weren't I'm locked out. We weren't locked out this year. Yeah. We didn't have a lockout. So we, we started. Uh, on you're time. coaching little league this year. Official, yeah, yeah. official little, little league. league. The official little league. The official little league. It's a lot of fun, man. Yes, it is. Where the owls with the Z? <laughs> is it actually with a Z? I yeah. They they put it in on the website wrong though. <laughs> Okay, as because the website has it as an S. Oh yeah, totally. Okay. It's the owls. All right, I was like confused by that. Yeah, man, and we are. I named thought you were being creative when we we are, yeah we are named after the Noco owls, the, no- the Northern Colorado owls, which we still can't figure out if they're going to start this year or not. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. It was like be yeah. like you go to tickets and it's like sign up here for updates. I'm like, well, can I buy tickets or not? I wonder if it was a. COVID delay. It could be. You know, another season. It's also their one. first season, so yeah, they're so. probably ironing the wrinkles out here. Yeah, yeah. But the NOCO Owls were named after the Northern Colorado Owls, yep. and um, we're actually the Golden Owls, which is really fun. Yeah, and we have a we have a good color. Yeah, we do. Yeah, it's like kind of golden and white. I like it. Yeah. It's a good season, and Little League, how, it's a pretty impressive league, huh? I, I mean, it's legit. That's, yeah. that, that's probably the big thing. If you look at like rec league mm-hmm. baseball to little league baseball, and granted, I think rec league baseball does its purpose. It's yeah. to get the kids involved, to get them excited, yeah. get them starting to think about it, but you're not going to do outs. You're not going to do innings, mm-hmm. really. You're not playing plays. You're just kind of getting but, the fundamentals yeah. built. So this is like a big – I feel it's like a big jump from yeah. when we taught coach pitch last yeah. year totally. into this, but – it's good. Yeah, you know, it's and it's not like club team where you have to travel all the time. No, it's all. I mean, we're all within dollars. Erie and Lafayette. Yeah, we have a regional sort of little league that we play in, and that's really fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for it. I think we're gonna have a. You know, the thing, the best thing about little league. Here's the best thing. Best thing right here. We start when baseball starts. April. That's yeah. And we end before our summers get ruined. I noticed that. I didn't <laughs> think about that, but I was like, we have it's our like summers. over before summer break. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, we do have a tournament week the first week of June. Well, woo, but, but, but we're not playing we're all summer. All yeah. summer. Our Saturdays are ours. Oh, yeah, which is nice. Yeah. That's rare. And we for, got baseball. That's rare for this. Yeah. For sports. So what do you think is like one of the best TV shows on Disney Plus right now? We're, we've been watching... Book of Boba Fett. Yeah. That's good. How many episodes are you in? We're like on the fifth one right now. Yeah. So we're still kind of chugging along. but It's interesting what, what town it's set in, huh? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Don't want to give too much away to yeah, the yeah, show, but yeah. yeah. But it's good. Yeah. No. Kind of an expansion on the Mandalorian and then obviously Boba Fett being mm-hmm. from the original Star Wars. So yeah, it's good. It's expansion of the universe, I would say, more than anything. Oh, yeah. The Star Wars universe. Yeah. But you if see- you liked Mandalorian, you'll like... Book of Boba Fett. It, it's like the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian moved a little too slow for me. Yeah, this moves a little bit faster. A little more each episode. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, that. It's good. That's really good. Yeah. What, what do you, you guys? Think? What are you watching right now? We're not watching anything right now. Phineas and Ferb, apparently. Yeah. Well, that's occasionally. <laughs> Dad gets to pull that card, play that card, and we get to watch a little Phineas, Time for and, some Ferb. Phineas and some Ferb. Yeah. Which is so funny because an Agent P. You know. Yeah. Agent P. You know. You know. I know. I, I I just it was like it was right at that era where I was coming yeah. out of like watching that kind of stuff and just I just missed it. Yeah, we got to we got to review actually something tonight too. We we have a new uh uh organization within sort of driving range of Erie, D-Bats. D-Bat. It's we just D-Bat by D-Bat, the way. D-Bat by the yeah, way. D-Bat. Um which I had experienced it down in Colorado Springs. Yeah, I didn't realize it was like a franchise or chain or a yeah. franchise, but it's a really, really unique organization. Yeah, so, so right behind explain. Walmart and Lafayette, yeah. there's a D. They have a great building. Great building, a huge warehouse. They have, I'm going to miss miss it here, but I think two, part three, so five. I think there's three, eight. I think there's eight, yeah. I think eight or nine. Eight cages. Three that have p- built-in pitching machines, and the rest are like you can go in and pitch to your kid or whatever, and you rent them for team, the hour or team whatever. Out, team, team, yeah. Cages, yeah. Really nice setup. Super great staff. Yeah. Super impressed. We went there today. Uh, it's like $2 for 15 balls if you do the batting cage. Mm-hmm. Uh, they'll give you a discount if you buy 15 swipes, so each mm-hmm. card swipe is 15 balls. Yeah. 
and it's twenty five bucks. So yeah, pretty good deal, I think. Yeah, it's really good, especially for a, for a nice in, facility too. And it's indoor, which is really important in Colorado. Yeah, because there's probably I don't even know where there's any more. Uh, there's Boondock or not Boon? Yeah, does Boondocks have batting cages? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it'd be like Boondocks or what's the, the Longmont, one Boulder? the Longmont Field that's a north town yeah. of Longmont. Because Lafayette there. used to have them over where Cooper's Automotive is. Oh, really? And that it used to be a Sonic. Now it's something canine something. Hmm. There used to be one over there, but it's gone now. So yeah, but it's really good to have an indoor facility. Yeah, and they have like coaching and they do camps and I mean it's it's cool. Yeah, and they have a whole store too. That store is really cool. <laughs> you spend a lot of money there. Yeah, right? drop a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, Little League does not. Yeah, you want to buy a two hundred dollar Little League bat? That's you, the place you go to there. Go. Yeah. yeah, but um, I I just like friendly staff too. Oh yeah, really super friendly. friendly. Yeah, our Little League actually got to have our draft for Little League in there. Oh, that's why how I know it. We oh. used to swim the side rooms. Yeah, it's for a nice. They have like a whole lounge, so mm-hmm. if like your kids are doing training or whatever, you can just go hang out. Totally. Um, like I said, I, I was in Colorado Springs when we first encountered that organization. Might be a franchise, probably. I think it's a franchise, yeah. But it, this is a great one. Yeah, and he one. threw out the first pitch. He did during our kickoff for our Little League. Yeah. We didn't have a flyover, though. The Erie <laughs> Municipal Airport did not. I'm surprised we didn't, actually, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised that somebody didn't call up their their buddy who's got like a, yeah. just even a little Cessna or something. At, just to <laughs> you go by. You go. You're a flyby. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been, been that funny? It would have been funny. Yeah, totally. It would have been good. We All know right. for next year now what well, to ask for. So, out of five minivans, what would you give D-Bats? Five? Yeah, me too. Yeah, I guarantee it was the easy five. Yeah, for for a good facility, clean, super friendly, well run, friendly, reasonable price, reasonable price. Yeah, I'll pay. I'd pay more to go there than you know. I mean, yeah, I could probably find some cheaper batting cages, but yeah, the quality there is much higher. That's interesting. Is that our first five ever? Maybe. I mean, the Nashville Hot Taco at Birdhouse gets a five every time for me. <laughs> yeah, that's, we yeah. all know that. We know that. Yeah. Taco of the year. Ta- taco of the decade. Oh, taco of the decade. <laughs> wow, it's really gone up. <laughs> All right, so I went to a new restaurant. Oh, food talk. Yeah, this we got we get accused of food talk a lot, but yeah, but this one's at least we're not talking about something we've already talked about. This is a new food talk. E- episode eighty nine was no food talk. I know. That's why I, we we. <laughs> Now we can talk about food again. Yeah, no, let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> we gave it a break from what we, we took a we took a day off. Yeah. All right. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't either, and we're gonna butcher it. Peripi? 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 Yeah. It's the new restaurant on Briggs. It's above the, the new barber shop, barber shop and the chiropractor. And uh um, right by Azteca there. Yeah. Totally. And I went there today for lunch. And I've gotta say, it's a decent you know, it's not it was a little too loud. The room was a little small and it got loud in there mm. for lunch. For lunch. For the space, yeah. the quality of the space. Mm. But however, um the food was really good. Mm. Mediterranean, and, uh, right? Yeah, Mediterranean versus sort of Straight Italian, Italian fusion, yeah. fusion, 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 fusion. <laughs> and uh We're not physicists, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it was really good. Like um it's a great to have Briggs, right? Come. Briggs is really coming up. Yeah, man. We've got a lot of great couple eats. years. It's funny because R.I.P. to Miner's Tavern, though. You know. Yeah. R.I.P. R- 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 my poor one out for the homies. <laughs> Moment of silence. <laughs> no doubt. I, we haven't <laughs> talked about that on. Desert. We haven't addressed it. It's because <laughs> it's complete sadness. It's just it's just sad feelings inside. There are a lot of sad feelings. That's all it is. I mean, when you knew COVID was starting, you knew that type of place was going to be. Yeah, when we started to get into the deeps, the depths of COVID, you're like, well, R.I.P. But man, what a place! I know that was a staple. How long had that been here? As far back as I can remember. Yeah, I, mean, I remember the going to team football team dinners there. Wow, back in high school. Uh huh. That's the. I was gonna. But say, it was like a. D- it was like a CD dive bar. Yeah, it's had some. Iterations. It's had some owners, some iterations. Yeah. They've they've, op- they've made it brighter because they used to not, you know, that glass garage door wasn't there, so it was dark in that back corner. Yeah, totally. Yeah. But no, I the burger, the Buffalo burger was always the best, one of the best burgers. In they town. had good wings. They had, they had yeah, good wings. Yeah. yeah. And that was a great place to f- watch a game if you didn't have like, you know, that random channel to watch like Avs yeah, game or Nuggets game. Yeah. They had it. Yeah. 
and you could watch important games there. Uh-huh. And there was a lot of Broncos games that I had to actually watch. I there. bet some somebody will come in there and open a new sports, sports bar? park. It has to be right. It's kind of that layout. Uh, maybe well, maybe somebody will come in and do some hipster, cool thing. You know, it's sort of they Miners Tavern and Rose went out. Rose, rest, yeah. Rest in peace there too. Oh, no more Mickey the Pancake. O- the in town. OGs, yeah. The OGs of Briggs. I know. Are gone, man. Gone are the days. Yeah. When the buggy pulled up to <laughs> Rose's. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've said it before, but it, it Briggs used to be a dirt road. <laughs> yeah, totally. When I moved out. here, so. Yeah, br- 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 we're this, we're the thankful that there's restaurants. Yeah, no, it's it's awesome that Briggs is coming up. I, the one thing I think the town has to address at some point is parking. Oh yeah. Eventually, no they're going to have to start making these people build parking garages or something. Do you think they're going to build that in the old ball fields behind Briggs? I wonder that. I wonder about that other empty lot that's between the post office and that little building that's owned mm-hmm. by Parties by Jen or whatever mm-hmm. it is. There's an empty lot there that was supposed to be another brewery, but I, I don't know whatever came yeah, of that. Yeah, totally. So I don't know. They're just going to have to do something. Yeah. it's But it's hard when real estate the way it is to say, hey – this is gonna be a parking. This lot. is gonna be a parking lot when yeah, they could build something there. And if you build a parking lot at this point, you're gonna have to charge people to park. Yeah, and that's gonna be really. I, I'm weird wondering about when when like the post office goes away because mm-hmm. th- they're gonna have to build a bigger post office someday. Yeah, totally. And it's gonna be sooner because they've already built the outpost. They already built that outpost over at Burger yeah, King. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's interesting. You know, have you been in the remodel of the dugout as well? No, we haven't. I've been about to the dugout in a while. There's a big remodel they've no. done in the last like did they because they got more space too didn't they expand they, they into expanded, one of the other yep where a golden sil- airy golden silver yeah used to and be. the menu did, did expand as well good I like and dugout yeah it's a really good place so there's plenty of places to eat in yeah. Briggs but we need I think we need a breakfast place yeah with Rose being gone we don't have like the diner no we we don't we need a diner yeah. food. And I've heard some chatter about what's going in there. Oh. I've heard some chatter. Some I don't know if it's true, so oh. I don't want to say it online. Okay. You know what I mean? Talk but after. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think we need probably another week to confirm okay. what's going on. We're in working there. on the story. They're painting it, though. And so somebody's working on it. They've changed the okay. like, bar to be coffee. Because Miner's Tavern right now just looks. They put, somebody put up lease signs, but mm-hmm. that's as far as we've gotten with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so well. Also, we got a big update too because it, we're 19 days out. We're uh, one more sleep, and we're 18 days out from our vacation to Mexico. That's right. That might break the streak. <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> I'm not bringing all this on the plane. <laughs> no. I guess we could sit and talk through an iPhone or something. That'd be pretty fun <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> Dad, if on, you're a on, the plane. <laughs> on the beach. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, you excited? Wave sounds. You know, yeah. you got your bathing suits ready to go? Speedos all day, dog. <laughs> this is a family-friendly show. <laughs> no video. <laughs> yeah, there's no video. Yeah, but uh, you ready, though? Yeah. You got your fanny pack? Are you bringing a fanny pack? You know I'm I'm debating a fanny pack or a small backpack. Really? Because there's been times, like, books, camera, water bottle. Like, you know, a fanny pack sometimes has its limitations. But No, a fanny pack for dinner. Just bring your phone, you oh, know? Oh, maybe. Yeah, but that's what well. pockets are for. No, that's what fanny pack. <laughs> oh, that's what fanny pack. <laughs> yeah, I've got to say. Are you packing your fanny pack? Because I'll pack mine. Yeah, I'm pack packing yours. my fanny pack. Are you bringing your fake uh, pit vipers that we bought too? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no doubt. Why wouldn't I to Mexico? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just checking. This, this, yeah, if I could, I would grow a mullet before here and there for <laughs> Mexico. <man. laughs> Maybe that's what I should do with my hair. <laughs> do it. Speaking of hair, I need your advice. Yes. I need beard advice. Oh. Has it gotten too long? No, it's just it's just bushy. Yeah. So I'm thinking about going to get a trim somewhere. Well. Kind of shape it up. Here's the thing. And as one beard lover to another. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were dying over there. Yeah. Is uh, you have to spend money on a beard trimmer. Okay. That's that's okay. where I work. And. And you're gonna be a, under a hundred dollars, and but yeah, looking at Amazon, they're not a ridiculous. dry and a wet one are probably the best beer trimmers. This is a good dad talk, actually. Beer trimmers, um, you know, historically I've bought some at Target, just because I like to see the packaging, get sort a feel of, for the quality. They have, sometimes they have them out so you can touch it yeah. and you feel how heavy. <laughs> yeah, because that's the downside to Amazon. You don't know, or am I buying? 
a fifty dollar that's cheap or a fifty dollar that's decent. Yeah, totally. Um, but you want to go above sixty dollars in your purchase for okay. a beer trimmer. Between the sixty and hundred, really. What about so beard trimmer? Yeah. What about beard other beard products? Like I see beard oils, beard washes, yeah, beard balm. I, I've done all of that. Um, you know, conditioner. Just borrowing some. Of the That's what I've been doing, and it does. It, like I noticed for like at least a couple hours after I shower, it's kind of a little yeah. more controlled. I, you know, one of the best places is um, Duluth Trading. They have yeah, a few they have beard. Duke. They have that Duke Cannon brand yep. and some other stuff. So I actually do the like, um, the sort of the paste, the beard paste. Yeah, that's why I got a sample of that from some place called Bad uh, Donkey. Yeah, beard. Yeah, and you don't don't buy it on Amazon. I've tried that. Go that. No, right this now. is like a company that does their own, and they're like, "Hey, free sample, just try it out." And like, I'd pay four dollars in shipping. Yeah, totally. Bad at money money sign. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I I like that more than the oil. And I've done all the like pine tree oil. And yeah. All that so stuff. I the balm I could see because it's kind of like how I use palm made for my hair. Yeah, totally. it's like that makes sense. You, you probably could use some for your beard. Just a that's what I've been doing is I just been kind of like wipe, doing the hair and then kind of wiping down yeah, the, fu- the totally, face. Totally acceptable. All right. But there's a link that you don't have to. You might want to keep it under that link to trim, uh, like a trim yeah. that's under that link. For me, I need to because I have a false chin, so I need to pr- Pronounce keep keep your chin, keep yeah, your chin, the beard hair going. <laughs> the beard gives me a chiseled, a chiseled chin. <laughs> I have the double chin, and it kind of hides that. Yeah, so no, yeah, yeah we, we, you know we're both gaining something yeah, from it. Yeah, man. Um, but I, I think a beard trimmer is more important. And here's the thing: hmm. this drives me nuts. Men who have a potential for great beards, but do not fade their beard. See, that's what I'm struggling. So with. you go from the ear down, yeah. and you go from high, like. Like very low numbers to very high numbers to your chin. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Yeah, and I've so been thinking about seriously before Mexico to go to like Roosters or yeah. Floyd's and have them do that and give me a good haircut too. Okay, so that's really good. I would go to Woodward actually than one in Is town. That the one under Preepy. You, you know what? <laughs> you're gonna pay money, but well, you're I in know. Mexico yeah, no, and I, you got pictures. I want to feel Mexico. good. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the place I would go. I've been to both, and I've I've trusted everyone with a beard. And I've always come home and fixed it. How interesting is that? That is interesting. I paid money and I'm like, no, you no, know, not yeah. good enough. Yeah. Well, I don't know enough, so I won't. I won't be doing that. Yeah. So maybe I could give you a tutorial one day, how to cut a beard. We could make could, a tutorial. We could because we have a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> because you, it really is about connecting the dust between your ear lobe. I don't know. This is serious. Uh, I'm your ear, ear lobe to your chin and running a perfect line that way. And it's got to fade. Yeah, and then fade. And yeah. then fade to let the chin yeah. go a little longer. Yeah. All right. Totally. And I, it's about time I do one, too. I need to get another fade in. But, you know, I I think it looks great, man. It fits you. I I haven't seen you with it and thought, man, that doesn't look like you. You know what I mean? Thanks. Yeah. I had the goatee for a while, so it's not really a big stretch. Yeah. Between you had a very, tr- very trim goatee yeah. for a long time. Yeah. 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 It's funny that every now and then we get the text of you with a mustache. <laughs> you get bored or something. <laughs> and your it gets step, itchy, and I'm like, then I start shaving weird things out of my face. Totally. But with a beard, you do touch your face a lot. I've noticed that. The other yeah. thing I've noticed is when I get out of the shower, yeah. it's wet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to dry that. Yeah, I have to dry it, it like with a towel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like a different. It's just or different. if you get out of a pool and jump in a car, roll down your windows. It feels amazing. <laughs> like air conditioning <laughs> on your face. <laughs> Maybe I'll try that in Mexico. Yeah, yeah. So those are the important things for dads. Okay, well, let's wrap this up. Well, let's wrap it up. We're we're done here, man. We're done. We're thankful we're at episode 90. If you want to reach out to us, always hit us up on Instagram. At dadsaviri. Or you can email us, dadsaviri at gmail.com. I think I actually do get those in my inbox now. So Good. If people email us, <laughs> email back. Let us know what your favorite Disney show is. Ooh. Or Hulu. Okay. Or Prime. Okay. Because we need to know. We need to know. There's a lot of options now. All right. Thanks yeah. for listening. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that was a dry. I, I just left it out. Okay. Bye. <laughs>